what's going on beyond health this is dr justin cannot bring you another wonderful episode today it's coming hot and heavy i am uh feeling really good today and i've got a subject that i think many of you will find very very interesting i was speaking at an event this weekend with many many people and i was kind of going into the basics of optimal health and some of the things that i might do if i were health coaching you or trying to get you back onto uh, a path of optimal health, okay? One of the first things I do, uh, having a doctor degree in pharmacy that I don't see anyone else do, I don't see chiropractor health coaches do this, I don't see weight loss health coaches, I, I don't even see doctor doctors do this, but as a pharmacist, I look at the medications that you're on, and I look at something that's called drug nutrient uh, induced Drug-induced nutrient deficiency, okay? D-I-N-D, drug-induced nutrient deficiency. Basically, the simple way to put this is, is uh, there was a book by a, a, a pharmacist called, uh, named Susie Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, Cohen, um, and she wrote a book called Drug Muggers. And ba the basic premise of this is that every drug you take mugs your body of certain nutrients, okay? So, for example... Um, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, okay? It's a fact, okay? Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now, if you add salt to water, it'll boil at 102 degrees Celsius, roughly, okay? And that doesn't change the fact that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius normally. It's just that something was added, a catalyst, to make it boil at a hotter temperature, okay? So when people come to me in the pharmacy and they say, hey, Justin, uh, my body is becoming immune to this medicine, so the doctor is having to raise it, okay? Now, that's a complete falsity, and let me explain, okay? Uh, the only thing your body can become immune to is antibiotics, okay? Your body can, can develop an immunity to it, and then you, you develop what's called superbugs, okay? It's actually the bug that's becoming immune to it, not you, but that's uh, neither here nor there. However, okay, we are a chemistry set, okay? Just like water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, okay? Our body does certain things exactly, okay? So when you put a medication into your body, um, it goes to the liver typically, and it goes through what's called the first pass metabolism, okay? It has to break apart into its active components or active constituents in order to work. So it might need things like magnesium or B vitamins or vitamin D. It might need any, any number of vitamins in order to, to cut it apart or, or, or metabolize it properly in order to take it to its active form, okay? Does that make sense? So basically, every drug you take depletes our body of certain nutrients, okay? So when you go into the doctor and you and your doctor agree that you need, a, a, say, a, a cholesterol-lowering medication, a statin, okay? Pravastatin, simvastatin, lovastatin, doesn't really matter, okay? And you take that, and you're on the lowest milligram strength, say 10 milligrams, okay? You're on 10 milligrams of, of simvastatin, okay? And it's working great for years, okay? It lowers your cholesterol. Um, you go to the doctor. Everything's looking great, okay? So things like that. Now, after a year or two, you go back in, and the doctor's like, wow, your cholesterol levels are starting to get bad. Now, this is assuming that you stayed constant with everything, okay? Uh, you stayed constant with your diet, your lifestyle, everything, right? You just kept the same, okay? You go in years later and the doctor's like, wow, your cholesterol's getting worse. And you say, well, that's weird. I haven't really done anything different. And he says, yeah, 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 I know. So we're just gonna have to, to raise it to 20 milligrams, cool. So they raise it to 20 milligrams and it works really good again, okay? Works really good again. And uh, it works like that for another year or two until uh, you go back in, haven't changed much, right? Haven't changed diet, haven't changed exercise. And the doctor's like, wow, man, you know, your cholesterol's getting worse again. Let's raise it to 40, let's raise it to 80, right? Whatever, whatever, okay? So years and years later. And people would come to me in the pharmacy and say, Justin, my body's getting immune to this medicine. And I say, ugh, that's not true. We're a chemistry set, just like water boils at 100 degrees. Now, if you were to add salt to the water and now it boils at 102, you wouldn't say that water doesn't boil at 100 degrees Celsius. You, you added another component, a layer in there that changes the science, right? Does that make sense? Uh, so both are right. So uh, so what I do as a pharmacist health coach, one of the first things that I do is I look at the medications you've been on for years and I start 
giving you back the vitamins that it's depleted over the years. I replete the vitamins, not depletion. We, we replete. We, we, we build those vitamins back up in the body. Now, I'm not saying that you don't need that cholesterol-lowering medication. You know, it might be a familial thing or a genetic thing. Again, that's between you and your doctor, and I'm cool. I, I, I love whatever you decide to do. However, what I want you to know is that you should take the lowest required dose of any medication you take, okay? So when I start repleting people, start building back those vitamins that, that are being depleted over the years and years and years, what happens is they start going from 80 milligrams of, say, simvastatin, okay? Um, and they now have all of those components that will break it down properly to now their cholesterol is going too low, which, which means that we can lower, not, not me, but you and your doctor can lower the medication to, say, 40 milligrams again, okay? And we keep repleting the vitamins. You go from 40 to 20 and 20 to 10. And, and, we, 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 and again, maybe you need 10 milligrams for your whole life. Maybe it's a, a genetic or familial thing. Okay, great. But at least you're on the lowest one possible okay so uh drug depletion drug uh drug induced nutrient depletion is a huge issue okay doctors okay and this is another absurdity i have doctors that come into my wellness center all the time and say things like why are you recommending vitamins people don't need these and i'm like are you freaking kidding me like the drugs you're putting them on is basically making me put them on nutrients so stop it okay now what's crazy is and so let's uh let me let me find um uh this medication here uh i'm gonna go with okay so i'm gonna go with a, a, an estrogen an oral contraceptive okay so if you're a if you're a female you're a woman and you've been on um, birth control for a really long time. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's, you know, you and your doctor talked about it. Maybe you're not ready for kids, right? I, whatever, whatever. Okay. You've been on uh, contraceptives for a long time. Okay. One of the biggest drug nutrients that's depleted out of your body from taking, uh, these kinds of medications, oral contraceptives of any sort are, or is magnesium. Okay. Magnesium is depleted to, to an extent. Okay. Now, after years and years and years of taking uh, an oral contraceptive, your magnesium levels will start to decrease. Now, if we were to start looking at what magnesium does for your body, what magnesium depletion uh, does for your body. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to get there. But um, so, so you're, you're taking an oral contraceptive. It's going to your liver, first pass metabolism. It needs, it needs some magnesium to cut it and clip it into an active component. Okay. Over the years, you start lacking um, uh, magnesium. And so what ends up happening is uh, you start having magnesium deficiency issues. Okay. You start having uh, uh, muscle cramping. Um, uh, you start having more stress. Okay. Your, your brain can't uh, calm down if there's not enough magnesium in the body, okay? And so, uh, again, muscle cramping, muscle spasms, charley horses, okay, a lot of those things um, happen when we are depleted in magnesium. So so think of this, okay? So you're, you're taking an oral contraceptive, you're becoming depleted in magnesium, now you're, you're, you're maybe going to the gym a little bit more, okay? Magnesium's involved with metabolism, so it kind of regulates food breakdown. So you're gaining a little bit of weight, okay? You're starting to go to the gym, okay? And your muscles need magnesium to function properly, to 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 make them elastic, to open and close and, and, and right and, and stretch, okay? And so when you lack magnesium, okay, uh, your body's going to start drawing it from wherever it can. It's going to draw it from muscles. Uh, so you're working out, you're depleting your muscles even more, and now your uh, your muscles are suffering even more because you're working out and it's drawing it from your muscles, okay? So um, because to an extent, our brain always needs magnesium. To an extent, parts of our body always need magnesium, okay? Uh, so here's some signs of, of magnesium deficiency, okay? Uh, type 2 diabetes is highly correlated with a deficiency in magnesium. Insulin resistance is highly correlated with low magnesium. Cardiovascular disease, obesity, hypertension, uh, chemotherapy-induced toxicity. Okay, that's a, you, your body helps to get rid of toxins. Okay, so if you're on chemotherapy, um, you would accumulate toxins faster. 
Um, depression is highly increased if you have a lack of magnesium. C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory marker specifically related to the heart. Fibromyalgia increases with uh, magnesium deficiency. Metabolic syndrome, headaches and migraines, migraine disorders, um, type 2 diabetes prevention, colorectal cancer uh, increases with a, a, a magnesium deficiency. Osteoporosis, okay, because your body's depleting. Your body's drawing magnesium out of your bones, out of your muscles, wherever it can, because your blood levels need to be in a very tight range for cellular function, for brain function, for all sorts of function, okay? Um, I could keep going here. There's probably another, um, say, 10 or, or 12 different things, uh, stroke, AFib, asthma, endothelial dysfunction, inflammation, osteoporosis, things like that. So um, so this is, so women, if you're taking a, a birth control, uh, a, a contraceptive of any sort, especially the estrogen-related ones, you're depleting yourself of magnesium. Okay, let me see if I can pull up a few other ones that are really, really key, okay? Um, okay, if you're taking any kind of beta blocker, okay, you've got heart issues, heart blood pressures and things like that, okay? You want to take a, a CoQ10, okay? CoQ10 is vastly depleted, okay? This is like, uh, this is like a heart nutrient slash toxin remover, okay? Like this is a real, like CoQ10 is, is, is really important for energetic function, especially heart energy, okay? Um, if you're taking, uh, let's see here, uh, a diuretic, okay? This is also related to blood pressure, okay? If you're taking a diuretic, magnesium as well, okay? Magnesium, CoQ10, and potassium. Uh, zinc to an extent also, okay? If you're taking um, estrogens, okay? As any kind of estrogen hormone or, or oral contraceptive, again, you're, you're looking at magnesium specifically, um, and you're looking at the B vitamins, okay? If you're taking a proton pump inhibitor, oh my gosh, do you guys realize that uh, the average, I would say 80 to, uh, I shouldn't say that high, 70 to 80% of all Americans, two thirds of Americans are taking PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. This is for acid reflux and, and um, things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is, uh, has a high correlation with vitamin B12 depletion. Now, vitamin B12 is highly correlated with, let me pull up my chart here, um, uh, and as that's pulling up, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that just a smidge more, but um, if you're taking a proton pump inhibitor, uh, something like a Prilosec, a, 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 a Protonix, um, Asifex, Nexium, any of those kinds of over-the-counter or, or uh, prescribed medications, vitamin B12 is the vitamin that's being depleted vastly. Okay, so if you, now I've got a video that's related with vitamin B, okay, and, and why you should be taking it, okay? But if you're deficient in vitamin B12 specifically, okay, you have high correlation to have uh, high homocysteine levels. Homocysteine is also an inflammatory marker related with the heart. Uh, homocysteine and C-reactive protein are probably higher indicators of having a stroke than cholesterol levels, okay? So just, I could go into that later on. Um, cognitive decline and cognitive dysfunction happens with vitamin B12 deficiency, okay? Uh, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, depression, dementia, um, uh, cervical cancer is increased with a B12 deficiency. Pancreatic cancer is increased with a B12 deficiency. Schizophrenia, uh, even a vitamin D deficiency is correlated with uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. So do you guys see how, how, how pernicious taking medicines are. Again, I'm all for helping you where you are. But if you were to come to me for health coaching, the first thing I'm going to do is say, what medications are you on? And what medications have you been on for a long time? I'm all in. I don't care what your plan is. I'm here to help. Okay. And what I would do, the first thing I do is replete, is build back up those levels of, of, uh, of vitamins that have been depleted due to uh, the medications you've been taking. And again, we live in an allopathic Western society where Everyone takes medicine. And if you've gotten to the point where you stop taking medicine because you're fed up with, with the, the, the allopathic Western medicine model, you still have been depleted from years and years, okay? So here's, here's some more. Um, antibiotics, okay? Who hasn't taken an antibiotic, right? Whether you thought it was good or bad, I'm sure your doctor convinced you, you should take it, okay? Uh, first and foremost, healthy intestinal bacteria is something that is depleted. An antibiotic is like a nuclear bomb for your gut, your your good 
microbiome, your good, the probiotics that are in your gut, okay? Um, other things that are depleted, if you're on long-term uh, antibiotic use, it's, it, long-term antibiotic use is probably one of the worst things that you can do, okay? And let me tell you why. Because it depletes your B vitamins, vitamin K, uh, healthy intestinal uh, bacteria is what it depletes you in. It depletes you of calcium, depletes you of zinc, depletes you of magnesium, depletes you of iron, depletes you of vitamin B6, specifically out of those B vitamins. It depletes you of zinc. Now, imagine taking an antibiotic for a long time and thinking you're doing yourself so much good when you are depleting your vitamin stores of all sorts of things. Now you're having issues of, of vitamin D deficiency. You're having uh, issues of magnesium deficiency, B vitamin deficiency. Um, it, it, it is very pernicious. Um, if you're on an ACE inhibitor, okay, uh, which is uh, something like a, um, a, a Losartan, a Vasotec, Monopril, a Prinavil, um, there's a lot of medications. Uh, zinc is the medication that you're depleting, okay? Antidepressants. I mean, antidepressants are a huge thing that people take now. And if you're on them, again, I I'm not saying you don't need them. I'm here for you. I'm here to help. But if you could take the lowest possible amount and have the max benefit, why wouldn't you do that, right? So antidepressants, vitamin B12, CoQ10, and folic acid are your three vitamins that are massively becoming nutri uh, uh, depleted, nu nutrition uh the nutrients that are depleted. Now imagine, okay, you're on an antidepressant for years, it's working good, and then your body starts becoming immune to it, okay? Now your doctor's got you on the highest dose, now you're immune to the highest dose, now he's got you on two meds. And what you think is, you think, I'm going crazy, I, I, I am, I'm more depressed, it's working less effectively, I'm becoming immune to it, and that's not true. Your body is just utilizing the nutrients, it's mugging your body of those nutrients, okay? Isn't that crazy, okay? Um, uh, it, diabetic, are you a diabetic, okay? You're taking um, diabetic medications like uh, like metformin and things like that, okay? Diabetic medications, you got CoQ10, vitamin B12, and folic acid, okay? Uh, corticosteroids, okay? Are you taking a corticosteroid for any reason? Okay, vitamin C, vitamin D, folic acid, calcium, magnesium, potassium, selenium, zinc, isn't that crazy, okay? And if you go in with a viral infection, okay, it, think of how ridiculous doctors are, okay? They frustrate me, okay? And again, if you were to hire me as a health coach, okay, I wouldn't tell, okay, if I were to tell, oh, okay, if you were to get a chiropractic health coach, your chiropractor doesn't know what the heck he's talking about when it comes to medication, nutrient, right, de depletion, uh, like they don't get it. Okay. Drug induced nutrient depletion is, is something that doctors don't even get. Okay. Physical therapists don't get dentists. Dentists don't get like they're doctors. They have doctor degrees. I'm a doctor. I have a doctorate degree, but medicine is my passion. Absorption is my passion. Okay. Um, and when I called doctors and said, Hey, Here's something that you should probably do. They would swear at me and say, who the blankety blank are you? Go back to your pharmacy and just dispense the medication that we, we give, okay? For example, okay, doctors don't know what the heck they're doing when it comes to uh, allergies, okay? People say, uh, do you have any allergic reactions? And people say, yeah, I have a sulfa allergy. Okay, cool. Doctor will prescribe a sulfa medication, okay? And I had this once. Called the, the doctor and I, I'm like, hey, doc, this is the pharmacist. I think you should make a, 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 a drug change. He swore at me and said, you just dispense the GD medication and you just blankety blank, you mother. <laughs> and I said all sorts of things, okay, and hung up on me. And so I, I dispensed the medication. I told the patient, I said, hey, I wouldn't take this. Uh, the doctor doesn't. Uh, the doctor wouldn't listen to me that you have a sulfa allergy and this is a sulfa medication. You could probably die if you take it. So I would go talk to your doctor. Do the patient went to the doctor, had to set up another appointment, had to wait two or three more weeks just to see their doctor, went in there and chewed the doctor out and said, how dare you? 
Okay, my pharmacist is on my medical team as well. So how dare you? You didn't know that this is a sulfur allergy, a sulfa allergy? Then you need to go back to school and you need to like <laughs> recertify. It was crazy, okay? And the doctor called me and said, uh, now he didn't ever apologize, but he said, hey, um, maybe, uh, maybe we should change that medication. And I said, oh, okay, yeah. Um, uh, and so when he hung up, I said, wow, I... He didn't even apologize. And the, the pharmacy staff that I had at the time said, well, that's the closest you'll get with this doctor to an apology, so just accept it. And that was crap, complete crap. So again, imagine a doctor. You're going to the doctor. You're, you're sick. You have a virus. Okay, Say, say you have COVID. Say you have uh, the common cold. Okay, The common cold is a virus. Okay, You have a virus. You go in there, and the doctor should tell you just to go back home, get ample sleep, drink lots of water, and eat your chicken noodle soup. He should say that because there's no medication that helps with viruses, with clearing a virus, uh, a viral infection and things like that. But what a doctor will do is he'll actually put you on an antibiotic and a steroid, a corticosteroid. Okay, an antibiotic is worthless for a virus. It actually probably gives it immunity, superbug type stuff. Okay, and then they give you a corticosteroid because it will shut down the inflammation, it'll calm the body down and say, whoa, body, quit overreacting, okay? And the body will clear an infection after, say, three, five, seven days, okay, normally. So the doctor doesn't want you to walk out and, and feel like he didn't give you anything, okay? Because doctors get reviews on Google that say, I went to the doctor, I was sick, and he gave me nothing. And they give him a one-star review, which I'd give that doctor a five-star. I'd be like, man, five stars, good for you, bro. Like, man, good for you. But people give them one star because they're like, doctor didn't do anything. You just told me to go home and eat chicken noodle soup. So the doctors feel obligated to give you these things, okay? So he gives you an antibiotic. He gives you a corticosteroid, and this is what happens. He depletes your body of vitamin B, uh, B vitamins, vitamin K, healthy intestinal bacteria, calcium, uh, magnesium, uh, zinc, iron, B6, and, and, uh, and B6, okay? So there's eight nutrients depleted with antibiotics. So he puts you on a 10-day regimen. There's eight nutrients that are being depleted over 10 days, okay? He also then gives you a corticosteroid, which then depletes your body of uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, folic acid, calcium, magnesium, potassium, selenium, zinc. There's another eight. So he's potentially depleting your body of 16 different nutrients, roughly. I know I said some of those interlap, uh, overlap a little bit. But do you see how pernicious prescribing medications when it's not needed is, okay? Now, you go back to the doctor and you're like, man, you know, I got bacteria. Uh, I, my, my stomach has never gotten back to normal because now you have what's called SIBO, uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. When they give you an antibiotic, they nuke your gut. Poof, they set it to zero. Now it's a battle. Are good bacteria going to overpower the bad bacteria or the bad bacteria going to overcome the good bacteria? And so what ends up happening is... Your bad bacteria over overcome the good bacteria. Now you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Now you've got gut issues. You've got um, uh, bloating and gas, and and, and, and and you just can't hold food down. And now you're depleting other nutrients because now you're not repleting the vitamins that you already depleted. Like, it is a pernicious thing for doctors to prescribe when it's not necessary. And I'll actually go through with you the, the Hippocratic Oath. It's the oath that every doctor takes when they graduate. I'll do that with you later in another podcast, and I'll show you how pernicious it is for doctors to over-treat and over-medicate. To medicate when medication is not needed is probably one of the biggest fallacies and things that, that, that doctors shouldn't do, okay? They should probably be sued for it, but they never will, okay? So corticosteroids are, are, are ab corticosteroids and antibiotics are atrocious to the body. Again, they're needed at times. I'm not denying that. I'm not saying you don't, but if you exit the hospital you need to get a hold of me and say, these are all the medications I was on, Justin. Dr. C, these are all the medications I were on. How do I replete my body of everything that was sucked from me, that was drained from me, that was mugged from me over my 10-day hospital stay? And I'll help you get back on track, okay? Diuretics and thiazides uh, and loop diuretics, okay? Uh, magnesium, potassium, zinc, CoQ10, uh, sodium, NSAIDs. How, do you guys take aspirins and, and Tylenols and things like that? Guess what? It's depleting your body of vitamin C, folic acid, iron, potassium. Do, you guys, everything you take depletes your body, whether it's over-the-counter or not. Don't think that just because it's over-the-counter, it's safer. It is not, okay? NSAIDs, proton pump and numbers, statin, cholesterol-lowering medication. So here's the statins. CoQ10, magnesium, and potassium, Okay. Uh, vasodilators, uh, vitamin B6, magnesium, potassium, zinc, coquitin. Okay, 
I will compile all of these findings, okay? You guys, <laughs> you, you guys, uh, I've, I've transferred them onto the computer, but man, I've got uh, notes and notes and notes of these vitamin depletions oh, because I read the white papers. I read the studies and, and I dig into the science behind it. I, I get that you don't have the time, but let me compile this list. Let me uh, make it accessible to you. Um, if you will email uh, email me at drc at beyondhealth.com, drc at beyondhealth.com. If you're taking any of these medications, just shoot me, just say Dr. C and write your medications. Uh, you know, uh, Losartan, Simvastatin, uh, period, thanks, Bill, right? Just tell me what medications. And I'll send you an email back saying thiazides equal. I'm going to give you the vitamins that were depleted. And, and hopefully give you some recommendations on how, how like maybe uh, 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 some higher dosing that you could take. Because think of this, when we're depleted, okay, and this is why doctors confuse me. They say, we don't need multivites, okay? The drugs we take are depleting us already. Life that we live is depleting us already. So we need double the vitamins usually just to get us back to, to normality, to homeostasis. Okay, so when I say to double up and triple up on, on, on certain vitamins for a month or two, maybe three months, okay, don't feel like that's crazy. Don't feel like the recommended daily allowance is so high because that's not true. The RDA, the percentage on the side of these vitamins are there to keep you barely above death. And if you've depleted these vitamins over six, seven, eight, ten 10 years, then you need to be doubling up for a good amount of time in order to replete the storages that you've lost and then to build you back to homeostasis, okay? So the two things that this does for you is one, it repletes you back to levels of homeostasis. So now you need the lowest possible amount of medications possible. That's good, okay? Two, it builds back all of the deficiencies, okay? You start seeing all of your, your medical issues start going by the wayside, okay? You start seeing your muscle spasms and your cramping go away. You start seeing your... your um, your, your migraines and your headaches go by the wayside. So now you don't need those, those migraine medications. You start seeing your blood pressure start to normalize because that magnesium helps to relax the, 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 the blood vessels for vasodilation, okay? You start seeing vitamin D uh, uh, be built back up because of the vitamin D depletion over years and years. So you start having better brain function. You start having a better hormone function. You start having better testosterone levels as a man. You, you no longer have ED, Okay, you no longer are depressed. Okay, or or if you are depressed, you're on the lowest medication needed for depression. Okay, do you see how? That's the first thing I do, and I can I can get, oh my gosh, I can get to 60, 70, 80 percent of most people's issues because most people don't correlate uh, nutrient depletion, drug induced nutrient depletion with their issues. The doctor just blames it on getting old. You're getting old. Oh, you got ED now. Oh, you're getting old. Oh, you got brain issues. You're getting old. You're having Charlie horses. Oh, you're getting old. You have heart disease. Are you kidding me? I know 80, 90, 100 year olds that are solid. Okay. And they don't take medicines. And every single one that is doing good says, I'm not taking medicine. Now, it might not be that, that they're healthy because they're not taking medicine, but they might be healthy because they're not depleted in the nutrients that those drugs would have depleted them. Does that make sense? Hope it does. Okay. Now, if you need some recommendations, again, we have all sorts of supplements. We got a, we got forty four different supplements. We have the the most amazing CoQ ten. We have amazing B vitamins. Uh, B twelve specifically. If you have that B twelve deficiency, you're on proton pump in inhibitor. But if you're on multiple of these things, you're on contraceptive and a proton pump inhibitor because contraceptives deplete us not only of magnesium. That's the biggest one that it depletes us of. But contraceptives also deplete you of B2, B3, B6, B12, uh, folic acid. Okay, And isn't that crazy that, those, that, that that medicine that you're taking to not have a baby, once you get off of it and you want to have a baby, okay, you need those B vitamins. Okay, Folic acid is, is, is so necessary for the brain and the nervous system development of a child. And you've depleted that over years. Now you've got a child that has spina bifida. You've got a child that has um, 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 central nervous system issues. You've got a child that isn't properly developed in the brain. Are you kidding me? So I would, if, if and when you want to have kids, get off of oral contraceptives. Build up those vitamins over the next 6, 8, 12 months and then have a child. You will have one of the most healthiest children in the world. If you do it the other way, sometimes you have issues. So I'm just saying, okay, we've got amazing bone vitamins. We've got calcium vitamins, B vitamins. We've got 
um, uh, iron supplements, we've got zinc supplements, we've got um, uh, all sorts of amazing supplements behind me. So reach out to me, drc at beyondhealth.com. I'll help you overcome any deficiency. Uh, use DRC10. If you do use Beyond Health uh, multivitamins, DRC10 for 10% off. Um, it tells me, uh, it, it also tells um, uh, Beyond Health that you're listening to these podcasts. It also kind of gives me a thumbs up to say, hey, man, these podcasts are really good. Uh, see, people are using this DRC 10. So you guys, I hope that's good. I know that's, I, I know I speak fast. I know it's, it's hot and heavy, but I really am so passionate about getting you back to optimal health. And I hope this makes sense. Um, I really hope this makes sense. Um, email me. I would love to, to help you and get you to the next level of optimal health. Um, this year is already turning out to be amazing. We've already, uh, helped so many people overcome so many different things. And, and I really appreciate your guys' support and, and like, thumbs up, spread the word, uh, you know, pass this along to your family and friends. I really, really appreciate you and hope that this is the best year that we have uh, when it comes to optimal health and, and everything else, obviously. So I'll catch you guys later, and thanks for tuning in to Beyond Health. Thanks.